Gway. Today we're going to be talking about let's find a flat in Paris. Now I just did a video and in the video I talked about nightmare experiences here in Paris and a lot of people in the comments were like oh my god Ray can you please just like do a video on how to actually find an apartment in Paris. So here we are. So what happened was I actually was looking at Damon Dominique. He did a video where he talks about how difficult it is finding a flat in Paris. So today what I'm going to do is expand upon that a little bit and actually walk through four different ways that you can find a flat here in Paris. Number one, recommendation. If you know someone who knows somebody, who knows somebody, who knows somebody, who knows somebody, who's either trying to rent their place out, do an exchange program with their place, like, okay, you can have my place in New York and then I'll give you my place in Paris. That's why it's really, 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 really key if you know someone and then you can also have a sense of confidence because you know that this person has come with some type of trust, some type of recommendation. So that's always the first best way to find an apartment. The second next best way to find an apartment for me, in my opinion, is through Airbnb. Now, I know a lot of you can be like, oh my God, Airbnb is so expensive. Yes, it is. However, understand fam, Airbnb would rather have you in the place for a long amount of time, for a long period versus one week, one week, one week, one week, because what happens is they have to transition. What happens is they now have to go in, they have to clean, they have to prepare, they have to do all kinds of things to get the place prepped for the next guest. If you go in, which I'll show you, and you know exactly which arrondissement, what is an arrondissement? Paris is set up in different arrondissements. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, all the way up until I think the 20th arrondissement. And then outside of Paris, the suburbs. At this point, you're just gonna be looking in Paris, or maybe you'll be looking on the outskirts of Paris, close to a metro. When I was looking for a place, I really wanted to make sure that I found a place that was close to the metro. The metro means the trains that are running inside of Paris. The trains are lines that run outside of Paris, like the RER, like the J, the L, the P, the RERA, RERC, RERB. So if I were you, I would want to be finding an apartment close to the metro lines, whether they're in Paris or on the outskirts. You see my point? I say closer to the outskirts, so like up, up, up north or down, down, down south, it'll get cheaper because you're farther away from the center. Yeah? All right, so that's first, Airbnb. All right, fam. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna Google Airbnb. Now we're there. We're gonna click on the link. And now we see that we can type in Paris, which will then give us some arrondissements as we talked about. I picked the ninth. We're gonna put in dates. I decided March, you know, springtime, one month. Because remember, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and negotiate a month and have them bring it down. We're picking one adult and then we pick search. Right? Negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. And as you can see, we have some stays here. On the right-hand side, you'll see a little map that gives you the amounts, right? So, of course, the closer you are, the more the closer you are to the center, the more expensive it, it'll be. So you pick one with the cheapest. I looked in, you know, and found the one that had the least amount of amount. But first, what I did was I put the amount in, 1500 to kind of give it a cap, it's pretty much the same results. And then I went over to the right to the map, picked what I thought seemed like the cheapest amount. And I clicked on it. And that's the one that I found. And I clicked on it because it seemed to have a beautiful view of the Tour Eiffel. You know, I would stay away from those expensive places like the WeTM, like I said, the 8th arrondissement, but this is in the 9th, it has a beautiful view. So you're paying for the view, right? Look how small it is. It's a sofa bed. You know, you have to scroll down, check it out, look at the pictures. You know, I don't even think, yeah, see, it doesn't even have a real stove. It's like a hot plate. <laughs> Most of the stoves here are electric. They're not gas, um, but you're, they're showing you the views. They're not really showing you the place, but if you're, you know, desperate as I was looking for a place, <laughs> You, you, you take it, you know, it was just one month, two months until it gives you time to start to look. So here I just clicked on about this space, it's in French, so I copied it and then I'll paste it in something that I use called Deeple, D-E-E-P-L, Deeple, Deeple, whatever you want to call it. 
and I go there and I type it in and I see what it states. And what it states here is, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'll be able to see it because I'm with the computer, but it's a charming studio with a magnificent view of the Tour Eiffel located in the famous Quartier Pigalle, which is like near Rouen Rouge. So it's giving you, you know, what this space is. So that's that. Then we, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. You go, you look through, you'll see the service charges. They're even giving you a monthly discount. You know what I mean? Like, folks will negotiate. And you just type something up if you don't want to speak in French. You type it up, Google Translate, and you send them a message, right? Or you send and you see how they respond if they'll negotiate with you. And then if they do, you reserve. All right, guys, so that's Airbnb. Then you have what's called Le Bon Coin, Se Loger et P.A.P. These are like Craigslists, public posts, public notices, where you directly deal with the person, the landlord, whomever is showing the place. Now, when I was looking for this apartment, actually, now if you go back to my video from the last video I talked to you about my nightmare experiences, I decided to do it through Le Bon Coin, Se Loger et P.A.P. And then I had a catfish experience, and then from there I went to an expat expat rental agency which is expensive but we'll get into that next uh posts come out every second or every minute or every hour of the day so what i would do because it's so hardcore finding a place here in paris that i would be on it every five minutes every 30 minutes every hour just being there for the next you know post because as soon as the post comes out at 10 6 a.m you want to be responding at 10 6 a.m in 30 seconds you don't want to be waiting two, three hours because that means 20 people have already applied for the place. Understand, there are more people looking for apartments than there are available. Same thing like New York, you know? So it's it's tough and you have to really not only be persistent and consistent, but you have to be discerning. You have to practice discernment. I was working with someone in Le Bon Coin. They had a beautiful apartment, gorgeous apartment in Mont Montreuil, which is a little bit outside of Paris. Yeah, still on the Metro and the RER and near one of the dopest markets is where a lot of the artists stay. It's really brilliant over there. The woman who was renting the place was also airbnb the place. Because when you Airbnb, it's not like there's stuff in there. So you can show the place as if you're renting it. Then she was requiring first, last, and security. When she didn't want me to transfer to her via wire, that was my first red flag. If people don't want you to wire it to them, that's the problem. And if I was gonna go through Le Bon Coin or Soloje or Payape again, I would need to see deeds. I would need to see signatures. Although today, you know, you can you can Photoshop anything. But I would be really, really, really hardcore about picking a place because someone can Airbnb the place. They can catfish you. Take your money, give you the keys, and then two weeks later when you move in, or three days later when you move in, the owner or the real tenant has moved in and you standing there like and you've just lost all your money. So be very, very careful when you're dealing with these Le Bon Coin, Se Loger, P.A.P. It's really, really, it's discernment and it's you just really crossing your T's and dotting your I's and just trying to make sure you get as much proof as possible that this person owns this apartment or has the right to rent the place to you. All right, so let's do a little look at Le Bon Coin. Basically, so it's a website that allows you to go on and you can put in your price range. You can put what you want to pay. I put 800 to 1100. You put where you want to go. I put Paris. Let's see if you put like the 18th, 75018. Look at that. Let's do two more words. So we're going to look specifically into the 20th arrondissement. Because remember, you can look into arrondissements, which are districts. Okay, Paris, let's validate. Now we're down, so we were at 600 or something, now we're down to 47. So let's see. And, oop, look at that. This one, 33 mètres carrés. I think that's about 355 square feet. And then if you want to know more about what it is, I would you know, copy it and then we're going to put it in Depot. But let me copy it first and then we'll put it into Depot. But let's look at pictures. Yeah. Let's check them out. Look at that. Look at that. Curtains, y'all. Curtains. This is the studio. So the room isn't separate. This is the one piece. Two pieces is the one bedroom. I'm telling you, it's, everything is just complicated. It's complicated. Flies in there. There's little bugs loving the light. Loving the light. 
Nice kitchen. Does it have a washer? Does it have a washer? Oh, there's the washer. Look at the washer right there. Look at that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alrighty. So that's that apartment. So then what happens is you go and you voila, envoyer a message, message, send a message. Not me. I had something said that I had typed. You know, I'm a black woman artist. I just kind of let people know up front what they about to get. So in case they have any reservations, <laughs> they don't waste my time. <laughs> okay. Don't have me come there. When you see me, you like, mm, American, black, female artist. Uh, okay. I've been turned away because I was American and we'll just leave it there for now. I don't get a lot of responses, but all you need is one. Praise goddess. So you type it in and then you do envoyer and then hopefully they respond to you. And this goes for se loger, this goes for pay à pay. So have your message ready, pre-typed. So you just boop, spit it out and then the person just bam, gets in touch with you, okay? Let's go to Depot. What I wanna do is I wanna type in that description that I just photo that I just copied, right? Um, so let's paste it in. Private individual rents, large furnished studio located at the foot of the subway line. Yeah, I see line nine. This apartment is on the second floor with elevator, guys. Ladies and gents, let me tell you something. France is known, Paris is known to have six flights of stairs and no elevator, just like a New York race goddess. Um, bicycle garage, serious guarantees required, guarantor, joint, and several guarantees. See, student card, proof of income. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. For, for the guarantor, this is why, I'm telling y'all, this is why, before you even send a message, translate what they're saying so that you know what you're dealing with, okay? Not everybody's gonna want this, but the majority of them are. This is why it's so hard, it's so hard. Looking for an apartment in Paris, I mean, looking for an apartment in Paris, it's just like, it's so hard because they're so strict, they don't trust anyone. And if you're an immigrant, like I was watching Damon Dominique, he talks about how he's a white male. And he's like, if I'm a white male immigrant and I can't get an apartment, then then what about somebody like me? Hello, cause I ain't white male. <laughs> so if a white male can't get into an apartment, how am I gonna get into an apartment? This is why I said I let people know up front what they deal with, okay? If you can get a guarantor, someone who can help you, like a family, a friend, a mom, a dad, that's great. If you're a student, that's great. But if you have to get a guarantor, all right, let's get into the guarantors, y'all. Because guarantors, oh, this is why, I, this is why as much as Airbnb can be tricky sometimes, because you know people will use Airbnb to scam you. If you can get into an Airbnb, I think that's the safest. That's the closest to a recommendation by someone because. Airbnb really has to verify people. So do expat rental agencies, which we'll talk about next, but they also need guarantors and you have to pay them a commission every month in addition to your rent. And you have to put down minimum one to two months for a security deposit. So that's why I'm just like, Airbnb, we're jumping a little bit. So let's go back to Le Bon Coin and guarantors. So I basically use these guarantors. Basically what happens is because everyone is afraid, they say that these guarantors can come after you if you don't pay rent, okay? So it's sort of like an insurance. So you're paying money just in case you don't pay rent. And then you also have to pay the security deposit, okay? So this is with expat rental agencies who also charge the commission or a landlord or an agency. So then what happens is they charge you, like let's say 600 euros, okay? They charge you for the year, the 12 months. Even if you don't stay for the 12 months, you still gotta pay the 12 months. Then what happens next is they wanna charge you. What I found out is they wanna charge you the next year. So even if you stay in the apartment and you pay the rent on time early for 12 months, they still want you to pay the next year the same 600 euros. Look y'all, I'm I'm not playing with these people because it's a scam. Go watch Damon Dominique's video. He talks about this with these guarantors, these companies that you gotta pay. They are scam artists. I'm Cause why you gotta double pay? Why you gotta pay for rental security deposit and then you gotta pay for a guarantor and then you gotta pay another year after it's not being ever, ever late and showing that I can't. 
I can't. It's like so complicated here. It's insane. That's what guarantors are, which now leads me into the expat rental agencies. Okay, well, I use lodges. Let's do filters. Filters, filters, filters. Just get it out of the way. Budget. Right, let's say 1100. Arrival date. Let's say March. We did the dates. We did the budget. We did the type of apartment, bedrooms, surface areas we talked before, metre carré. This is location. We're going to do all. <laughs> I'm not playing. All. And do all the metro lines. This is what I mean by the RER and the tram, yeah? I would just stay away from all that. Look at all these neighborhoods. Okay. Tour de Fee, Tour, Tour Eiffel, that's expensive. You're not trying to live over there. Oh, maybe you are. Services, elevator, mm -hmm. internet included, mm -hmm. washing machine, mm -hmm. look at that, y'all. Five results. Praise God. Let's look at this one. It's in the 12th. See photos. See, this it's these are small. This is 20 metres carrés, so that's like 200 square feet. But this is beautiful. It's clean. Washer. You guys want to see it more close? Let's see. see? I mean, guys, you know, ladies, gents, I, I like this place. Washer, bathroom. Oh, it doesn't show us the complete bathroom. <laughs> Which means that's the shower right there. Woo! And they, is that the kind of toilet they have or they're just missing a, a, a cover? Oh, Jesus. I kind of like it. And that's the TV. You see the TV right there? So, recommendation of a friend, Airbnb, negotiate, 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 expat rental agencies, commissions, guarantors, overpriced, but if you have the money and proof that you have the money, you can get in, but still the whole guarantor, I would just say with anything from guarantor, which then also leads to the public announcements, right? I would... Ugh, those are brutal too, because you don't want to be catfish. You don't want to be fooled. So basically, this is how you find a flat, a flat in Paris, y'all. This is how you find an apartment. It is not easy. Praise goddess. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the next video, I promise I'm going to do something that takes me to take us back to, you know, life in Paris or outside of Paris with an artist and how they live and how their pursuit of happiness and freedom in their, via their artistry, as we also explore just wherever we are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Right, ah, wait. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Maybe somebody's gonna need this information, so pass it along. Bye, peace, 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 ciao, ciao.